Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Pompey McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Codex of Victory. It is by Inoco Plus and 1C Company, released originally on March 16th, 2017. It is a fun turn-based strategy game. I did play around for a few minutes, kind of have my my bearings, but we're going to start over, we're going to start fresh, and we're going to learn how to play together. It's pretty cool, guys and gals. I'm ready to hop in and enjoy. Hopefully you guys are on board as well. New game and campaign mode. Let's do it. My name is Bumpy McSquiggums. We'll stick to the normal difficulty level, but let's just see what else is there. Easy and hard. Okay, makes sense. It makes sense. All right, onward. That was our crusade against augments. It was a retaliation strike against an enemy who dared to conquer a human planet. But we were failing. Despite our valor, we were losing ground. In the course of retreat, Lord Lionheart's battle armor was damaged by direct hits from numerous missiles. Our heavy tank was left behind for a rescue mission. We didn't have much time. There you go. I decided to change it in the middle of it. It's... Eh, it's fine. Like, by golly, I think we've got it right now. See, you know, it's, it's fine. Uh, don't be silly, Gus. I started with my English accent, and then seamlessly slipped into my fake American one. It's, it's totally fine. We're just in time. Lord Lionheart's battle armor was lo or has lost its power, but it seems to be in good condition. We must protect it. Alright, we need to save Lord Lionheart and get away. We must destroy the artillery unit that targets Lionheart. Alright, first off... We must select our tank with a left mouse click, then drag or click the enemy mine to attack it. That would be that. So, bam, bam, wrecked. Good stuff all around. Let's capture this lo location to provide action points, or AP, up here. As you see, uh, increase drag and drop to move a unit. There's a little bit of a zooming out action. You can move around with W, A, S, and D. You can pan to the edges of the screen. There doesn't seem to be a cursor lock, which is a bit unfortunate. You can also click and drag around on the map to move the map around. Alright, so we've done what we can do. We're going to go ahead and we're going to end our turn. It is now the enemy's turn to do horrible, horrible, horrible things. Oh no! Lord Lionheart's armor has enough energy now, but we were unable to make contact with him. He must be unconscious. We must destroy any artillery that targets him. Alright, we shall do this. Oh yes, there will be blood. His blood, mostly. Alright, so there we go, we destroyed the artillery. And I guess that's all we can do right now. So we'll end our turn. Oh no, there's a whole bunch of bad guys over there. I found the signal that's causing Lionheart's armor to malfunction comes from one of our enemy's locations. We need to shut it down. Get me there, and I'll stop it. Alright. Well, it looks like we're up against insurmountable odds. Or are we, ladies and gentlemen? There are too many enemies. We need to use the missile salvo to get rid of them. Okay, so that is this icon right down here. That we can use to blow everybody up if we wanted to. So how about we get ourselves just a little tiny bit closer, and then we unleash the salvo of missile two. We say good day, sir. And everything gets destroyed. Everything goes down. I apologize, folks. I feel like the sound effects are just a little bit too loud. We'll try it there. Maybe that's a little bit better. All right. Oh, that's cool. Tank ace, basic attack, attack range of two. Hit points and movement points. Nice. Good to know. Good to know. Well, we can't reach it yet, so we're going to have to end our turn. And now we shall be able to reach it and reclaim control over him and his armor. Lionheart is back alive and ready. Greetings, my saviors. It seems I missed some of the action. Thank you for not letting me die out there. Now... 
Would you be so kind as to accompany me back to HQ? I give you my word that I'll describe your heroism in my report to the king. Sweet. A heavy scorpion tank is blocking the way. Destroy it with Lord Lionheart's long range attack. Okay. That totally didn't work. I'll get to it in a minute. For right now, we're not going to do it. Oh no! More bad guys have shown up. Which is not great, for lack of a better term. I would like to do my rocket salvo, but I cannot do so. I do not know why. It's possible that there are trees blockading me. I shall move here. And I shall use my long distance shot to do some damage. Ooh, did a lot of damage. Alright. That's legit. We'll take it. Now all we have to do is reach the extraction point, but oh no! We've done been minded! At least twice, possibly more. Oh, they really don't like us. They are not big fans of us. But do not fear, do not fret. We shall be victorious. Yeah, probably. Alright, is that all we've got? That is all we've got. I imagine they're going to continue to respawn stuff till we get down to our extraction points. Maybe? Maybe not? Alright, well, let's get on over here. Mm -hmm. And now we have claimed all the points of the rainbow. Oh, there's no points of the rainbow. Oh, no! He stole our building. It's okay. We can accept that and move on, because we've reached the extraction point. It's a miracle we got back alive! Congratulations. Thank you. We were rewarded 100 Vs with two little dash things on the side. Cool. Victory! See, there needs to be an epic sound when you have a victory, like dun, 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 or something, right? Like that was, oh, we won. Just a little, a little bit more enthusiasm with like surviving a battle. That's, that's all I ask. I like to speak to be rewarded with like magical, bright things, like explosions or what have you, and loud noises saying that I was victorious. I like a celebration. It should be a celebratory thing when you win a mission, you succeed, you survive. Just saying. Just saying. The king was generous. Next day, I was granted the status of lord. Sweet. Which, I am going to admit, was a surprise even for Lord Lionheart. I've got new battle armor, a symbol of my new status, which came along with... A brand new... Oh, a huge assault spaceship and... A brand new condo in the Florida Keys. No, uh... A recently colonized planet on the outskirts of human space. Okay, that's that's almost the same. Sadly, I had to return the heavy tank, but its crew stayed with me to take our oaths together, along with our spaceship pilot. We call him Henry. Meet our team, Omar, spaceship pilot. I guess he's not called Henry. Uh, Vasily, the tank sergeant, and Taya, our engineer. Cool. Ooh, what's... Okay, Omar's here. Your Lordship, estimated time of arrival is approximately eight hours. All systems are normal. You have time to rest for a bit. All right, press the button to speed up time. Oh, cool. Navigational systems registered a subspace jump. Engine signatures show the Chancellor's yacht in local space. Interesting. Incoming transmission from the Chancellor's yacht. Greetings, Lord Bumpy McSquiggums. I hope you enjoy the view on your new planet. Fortunately, it had breathable, breathable atmosphere even before terraforming. Uh-huh. <laughs> we, we will meet in four hours at the Covet Lord's... Covert. Covert. Yeah, that, that too. The Covert Lord Residence at the coordinates I gave you several days ago. You will be given key passes for the planet infrastructure. Yeah, it only works if your your weird, funny voice allows you to actually take the time to read and enunciate things properly. But it's okay. It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. 
Omar, I'm detecting a missile launch from one of the satellites. It looks like uh, the Baron is not too eager to give away control of the planet. He decided to attack the Chancellor himself. The Chancellor's yacht had dis has disappeared from our radars. It seems that they had managed to turn on a cloaking field just in time. Unfortunately, I've also detected several explosions. I've activated our cloaking field following the missile launch. Keep maintaining radio silence and we should be able to land safely. Okay, radio silence it is. <gasps> that means you have to hold your breath. If you didn't know. Alright, uh, press to switch to your base. Let's go to our base. Cool. Your Lordship, welcome to your residence on this planet. We are under a camouflage field and no one knows our coordinates. Cool. What do I do now? I click to build a room, apparently. This earns money and unlocks upgrades. I guess the V is the monies. Build a tactical center to start to develop a base. Click to dig an empty room. Eh, why not? Speed up time. Okay, we can do that too. Okay, we can click to build another room. This time we get a factory. It'll allow us to produce units. Cool. There are different rooms. Some produce resources or units. Others expand storage or give upgrades. The more rooms you build, the more power you have. That makes sense. And we have a limited amount of stuff that we can build, it seems, up here. Uh, those are the resources. Money, I'm assuming some sort of bricks or stone or something. And then we have nuclear waste or just maybe plutonium or uranium or something. And then we have 9 out of 20 vehicles right now. I've managed to keep several attack vehicles and a tank in our ship's hangar. We should be able to capture the nearest region, which has a communication array. They are not ready for us to attack. Cool. Um, don't I want to build a factor? No? Oh, okay, I guess we're going to switch to the map mode. Click to send your ship on a mission. Alright, I guess we speed up time. If we could speed up time. We did. It's there, alright. It's important. This is a key mission. Mission not completely helpless. The objective is to gain control over the three relay stations with communication equipment. There are some enemies about. Oh, cool. A little pop up here. The Hunter Mine, alright. And the Combat Drone. Light and fast flying drone, which. With surprisingly powerful weapons, okay. And then walking mine that can reach the enemy and self-destruct damaging everyone around. Fortunately smart shell fragments can distinguish friendly targets and prevent them from being hit. Oh, well that sounds useful. As a result of the Baron's treason, we are now cut off from any information about the situation on the planet. It is vital to re-establish communications. Also, that region is an ideal location for attacking our HQ. It's better to keep it to ourselves. Sure. Alright, we shall go and do battle once more. I believe after we finish this battle, guys and gals, I will probably end up breaking off the old episode. But don't worry, we will be back. Ah, this is... This is a nice... I like this game. I like this game. It's, it's just... It's pretty straightforward, and... I like it. I like it. Alright. Drag the unit and drop it into the deploy zone. Um, any one of these, huh? Units have a price in action points. You can see your current action points on this planet. Four, okay. On this panel, rather. Position here, units, and I don't know why I can't read today. It's okay. I'm just gonna pretend like it's fine. I, I woke up like an hour and a half ago, but I still feel groggy. I don't know why. I should be totally awake, ready to go, and I am. I am, but my eyes are just, I'm very tired eyes today, so they are not keeping up with my mouth and my brain, and my brain and my mouth are struggling too, so <laughs> it's going to be fun. Position your units and click the ready button to start a battle. Alright, well I'm not ready to start a battle, I must position my units as you've already previously stated. Alright, no more action points, we are ready. You have to capture three military camps, then the enemy will lose his resources and won't be able to retaliate. Alright, legit. Let's get on over there and take care of that. 
I have captured a camp. Go on to capture the next one. And don't you worry. I have planned to capture the next one. Eventually. Alright. So we have one. He has taken one of ours. If you need more units, deploy additional machines to the battlefield. Oh, I will deploy additional machines. In the form of my gigantic friend here. She said something probably important and I just totally ignored it. Okay, no more action points are available. We, we're not going to end our turn, we're just going to... What is, click this button again? There we go. Alright, so... At this point... Oh, does deploying take up our turn too? I think it does. <gasps> no! Anything but that! Okay. We found an additional energy resource. Now you can deploy your battle armor or tank. Ha! <laughs> I've already done that. Excellent, but you better hurry or the enemy may receive reinforcements. Alright, let's take you down, friend. I guess I'll come over here. All casual styles with a Z. Take a shot at you. Take you out of the old mix. I don't really want to add any more units. Alright, that's fine. They have reinforcements. They've taken another of our folks down. Eh, it's not all that impressive, really. Well, I feel a little silly here. Okay, we should move there, we should move here. At this point, can we deploy another? We can. Oh, we're able to move him. I guess I, I did something wrong. I, maybe I was just trying to drag right away as opposed to selecting the unit first. That must have been my biggest issue there. So I wasted a turn, essentially. My bad. See, this is why we do things. So we learn together what to do and what not to do. We have the advantage now. Destroy the rest of the enemy units. I've already done that. They're all dead. Hey, look, victory! We didn't even get to take, like, the main city out. That's not fair. Alright, we got ourselves 350 credits. Oh, it tells us what they are. Um, 20 metal. 10 uranium. Okay, we got two more attack vehicles, though I did lose two of them. We got ourselves a gun turret. Long-range stationary weapon platform frequently falls victim to artillery fire. Not cool. And we got the blueprint for a tank. Cool. I like all of these things. We have access to the planet's communications and can now start looking for the Chancellor. Well, that's cool, I guess. It looks like there's a few other fights that we can get into, some resources we can gather. And our factory's not quite done yet. What is this thing? Oh. So we'll be leaving the place. I said, guys, guys, I only played for a little bit, so I don't know all the ins, all the outs, everything that we can or cannot do. All right, let's do that. Um, new unit is available, and a blueprint is available. New blueprint acquired. Blueprints allow new units and module production. Click to learn more. Okay. Interesting. I, I assume we need to get the factory finished first. Alright, we can select the factory now. It produces units. Click to show a list of available units. Alright. We can do the uh, t the battle jeep, as it were. Or we can build a tank. Let's go with the uh, battle jeep. And yeah, I think that's where I'm going to stop with that. It shows how long you have to wait until production is complete. That's fair. To save time, order the construction of several units to be built in a queue. Do not forget that you can speed up production time. Alright, I'm going to say we're going to want two of those and one of these. How about that? Alright, on top of that, don't forget you need to build a room, or if you want to build a room. 
You have to dig first. That's exactly what I was about to do. I was hoping you'd notice. Alright, we're going to go ahead and we're going to speed up time a little bit here. And boom. That is done. We can click to build a room. And we can build a hangar. It stores military vehicles, which I guess is going to increase our ability here. Build more units before the next mission. Don't forget to keep an eye on your hangar. And yeah, I guess that'll do it. Alright, we're, we're up to max of 20. When the hangar gets completed, we should be pretty good to go. Alright, don't forget to keep an eye on your hangar space. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, oh, that's cool. You can actually click there. So we have 10 of these, we have 1, 2, and 1. Alright, that's fine. And what are these? Disassemble the unit. Why would I want to do that? Oh, we get to reclaim some resources in case we have too many of one particular unit. That's pretty interesting. I like that. And it also clears up hangar space. Very, very, very cool stuff. Very cool stuff all around. Anyway, folks, so this is going to be a little bit shorter of an episode, around 20 minutes, 22 minutes, something along those lines, which is okay. But it's a pretty good start, and I'm hoping that the next time I'll be a little less uh, tongue-tied and scatterbrained, or addle-brained, or something. There's brains involved. And we'll be able to hop in and just enjoy without me struggling through the, the very the very easy dialogue. There's no complicated words or anything like that. It's shameful. It is a shameful display of my speaking skills. It's okay. It's okay. We'll accept it. We'll move on. Anyway, if you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game information on the developer or the publisher or any of the wonderful fun stuff, it'll all be down below in the description of the video and various links and such. If you guys enjoyed this video, kudos to you for sticking with it. I appreciate that. Hit that like button if you haven't already done so. Please subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the very next episode. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.